Are you considering getting a rabbit as a pet? If so, you're in the right place! In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know about rabbits as pets, including their care, diet, and personality. We'll also discuss the important decision of whether a rabbit is the right pet for you and your kids. If you already have a rabbit as a pet, what are some of your favorite things about them? Share your experiences in the comments! Are rabbits good pets for beginners? Rabbits can be good pets for beginners, but it's important to carefully consider whether a rabbit is the right fit for you and your lifestyle before bringing one home. These adorable and social animals require daily care and attention, including feeding, watering, and cleaning their habitat. They also need plenty of space to move around and toys to keep them entertained, as well as regular grooming to maintain their health. It's important to understand the commitment involved in rabbit ownership and be prepared to devote time and energy to properly caring for your pet. If you're willing to put in the effort, rabbits can be affectionate and rewarding companions. However, if you're not home often or don't have the time to devote to a rabbit, they may not be the best choice for you. Do pet rabbits prefer to live inside or outside? Rabbits can live happily either indoors or outdoors, but it's important to provide them with a suitable habitat no matter where they live. If you decide to keep your rabbit indoors, they will need a large cage or pen with plenty of room to move around and exercise. It's also a good idea to allow your rabbit time outside of their cage to play and explore, as long as the area is safe and rabbit-proof. If you decide to keep your rabbit outdoors, it's important to provide them with a secure hutch or shed to protect them from predators and the elements. Outdoor rabbits should also have a fenced area to hop and play in. No matter where your rabbit lives, it's important to provide them with a clean, safe environment and plenty of socialization and interaction with their human caregivers. What kind of cage do rabbits need? Rabbits need a spacious cage or pen to call home. The size of the cage should be at least four times the size of your rabbit when it is fully grown and should allow your rabbit to stand up on their hind legs and move around freely. It's also a good idea to provide your rabbit with a separate area for sleeping and hiding as well as plenty of toys and things to do. When shopping for a cage, look for one made of wire or metal that is easy to clean and has a solid bottom. The cage should also have a secure latch to keep your rabbit safe. Avoid cages made of plastic or with wire floors, as these can be uncomfortable and potentially harmful for your rabbit. In addition to a cage, it's a good idea to provide your rabbit with time outside of their cage to hop and play in a safe, rabbit-proofed area. This will give them more space to move around and help prevent boredom. What food is the best for a rabbit? A healthy diet is essential for the well-being of your pet rabbit. A rabbit's diet should consist mostly of hay, which provides essential nutrients and helps keep their digestive system healthy. Offer your rabbit a variety of hays, such as timothy, oat, or brome. Fresh vegetables should also be a part of your rabbit's diet and can be offered daily in small quantities. Good options include leafy greens, such as romaine lettuce, spinach, and kale, as well as vegetables like carrots, bell peppers, and peas. In addition to hay and vegetables, rabbits should also be given a limited amount of high-quality pellets every day. Choose a pellet that is specifically formulated for rabbits and avoid those made for other animals. Fresh, clean water should also be available to your rabbit at all times. Avoid feeding your rabbit processed or sugary treats, as these can lead to health problems. It's also important to gradually introduce new foods into your rabbit's diet to avoid digestive issues. Can rabbits live alone? Rabbits are social animals and generally do better when they have the company of another rabbit or a human companion. In the wild, rabbits live in large groups and need social interaction to stay happy and healthy. While it is possible for a rabbit to live alone, it's important to provide them with plenty of human interaction to make up for the lack of a rabbit companion. This can include daily playtime, grooming, and attention from their human caregivers. If you're considering getting a rabbit but are unable to commit to the time and effort required to care for a single rabbit, you may want to consider getting two rabbits. Just be sure to introduce them slowly and carefully, as rabbits can be territorial and may not get along at first. With proper socialization and training, however, most rabbits can learn to get along and even become best friends. How do rabbits play? Rabbits are intelligent and active animals that need plenty of mental and physical stimulation to stay happy and healthy. 
They enjoy a variety of play activities, including chasing, hopping, and exploring. Some rabbits may also enjoy playing with toys, tubes, chew toys, balls and rolling toys, puzzle toys, and tunnels and tents. It's important to regularly rotate your rabbit's toys to keep them from getting bored, and to always supervise your rabbit during playtime to ensure their safety. In addition to playing with toys, rabbits also enjoy interacting with their human caregivers and can be trained to perform tricks or play games. Providing your rabbit with plenty of play and interaction will help keep them mentally and physically stimulated and help prevent boredom. How long do rabbits live? The lifespan of a rabbit can vary depending on various factors such as breed, size, and overall health. On average, a domestic rabbit can live anywhere from 8 to 12 years, with some rabbits living as long as 15 years or more. To ensure that your rabbit lives a long and healthy life, it's important to provide them with proper care, including a healthy diet, clean living environment, and regular veterinary checkups. It's also important to keep your rabbit protected from potential dangers, such as predators or household hazards. With the right care, your rabbit can be a beloved companion for many years to come. Do rabbits like to be picked up? Some rabbits enjoy being picked up and cuddled, while others may not. It's important to respect your rabbit's boundaries and not force them to do something they're not comfortable with. When picking up your rabbit, use both hands to support their hind end and front end, and handle them gently to avoid squeezing or holding them too tightly. Hold your rabbit close to your body to make them feel more secure. When you're done holding your rabbit, let them hop down on their own rather than setting them down. If your rabbit seems uncomfortable being picked up, give them time to get used to being handled and try again later. With patience and gentle handling, most rabbits can learn to enjoy being picked up and cuddled. How to groom a rabbit Grooming is an important part of rabbit care, as it helps keep your rabbit's fur healthy and free of tangles and matting. Here are a few steps to follow when grooming your rabbit. First, use a slicker brush or comb to gently brush your rabbit's fur, starting at the head and working your way down to the tail. This will help remove tangles and shed fur. Next, you'll need to trim your rabbit's nails. Their nails can grow quickly and may need to be trimmed every few weeks. Use a small nail clipper specifically designed for rabbits and avoid cutting too close to the the pink part of the nail. You should also clean your rabbit's ears using a soft, damp cloth to gently wipe the inside of their ears. Check your rabbit's teeth as well, as they can become overgrown or misaligned and cause health problems. Watch for signs of dental problems, such as difficulty eating or abnormal droppings, and consult your veterinarian if you notice any issues. Finally, groom your rabbit's bottom by cleaning it with a soft, damp cloth. This is important to prevent gastrointestinal problems like diarrhea. When grooming your rabbit, it's important to handle them gently and slowly to ensure their comfort and reduce stress. If you're not comfortable grooming your rabbit, consider having a veterinarian or professional groomer do it for you. I hope you enjoyed learning about these adorable and social animals and that you now feel more informed about whether a rabbit is the right pet for you. If you have any more questions about rabbit care, don't hesitate to leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about animals.